Now, um, I'm just gonna jump right into it. Yeah, go ahead. Everyone gotta get your reaction immediately right. to the Better Be yes, sir. beating Callum Smith. Yes, sir. Um, obviously, you had a lot to say. Yep. And now you probably have a lot more to say. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know I do. <laughs> okay. It's just, just break it down to me. Just just tell, not just me, but yeah. like, you know, the people who's watching. Right. The people who didn't believe you. If there's right. a I told you so moment, this right. age well moment. Now, I got, okay, where, where do I start? I got so many thoughts about it. Hey, where do I start? Okay. So I want to address the people who said age, right? I heard um, Dominic Engel say, that's his, I'm saying his name right yep, Dominic. Yep, the trainer. He said, he said, the interview asked him, well, did y'all think that age would have played a factor? And he said, listen, if you live right, live clean, this is a guy who never drunk, never smoked, very, a very disciplined guy, obviously. Look at his amateur pedigree. Mm -hmm. He was one of the top amateurs in the world. You know, as a heavyweight, knocking out hurting heavyweights. He dropped Usyk in the amateurs. You know what I'm saying? This is a guy who lived this age, don't really play a factor. Of course, father of time is undefeated. You don't want to be boxing when you're 50. But, but if, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, Bernard Hopkins became a superstar at 38. That's where he beat Trinidad at 38 years old. 38 years old. So Arthur's 38 years old, and this is why it's important for people to be educated and educate yourself instead of blurting out nonsense. So he fight Anthony Yard. He gets hit a couple times. Oh, his age is playing a factor. But this is why it's important to have common sense. But he still knocks him out. And it's boxing. He's in a fight. Nobody said he's not human. He can get hit. But the, pur the purpose is he still did the job. And being jet lag and traveling all the way over there, that's a real thing. So that played a factor. You know, in my in my in I in my personal opinion. But my point, he still got the knockout. You know what I'm saying? And then Dominic Way said they, they, they talk about some the the, the, the um analytical finding. Yeah, they, they said uh about him being on uh, It's atypical. I said I mean I'm, 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 I, I, I was the one that kept saying yeah, yeah, No, no, but somebody somebody said the atypical. Yeah. Um the other kid said what's his name? Um he said we we need to start treating boxing like we treating uh baseball. With Tony Bellew? Or? To, yeah, to Tony Bellew. Like, trying to insinuate that Arthur's on something. But Dominic Ingo made another good point. He said, uh, Tony Bellew said, just show me how is it possible to be 38 and get stronger and more destructive. And Dominic Ingo said the same thing I said. He's been knocking out guys for 20 some years. What do you mean? He's doing the same thing he's been doing. <laughs> so what are you talking about? Like, like it's not like... He he was getting knocked out, losing, and then and then he's been knocking guys out since he laced up a pair of gloves. Maybe it was biased though, because Callum's his guy. You know? Yeah, and, and, you know, yeah. Just, Listen, just... and I get it, but talk truth. Don't speak foolishly. Like you got to do your research. This is a guy who's been knocking guys out. Who's been knocking? It's not like he just started knocking guys out. Now, if I start knocking guys out out the blue, then I can I, I can see say something about, about me. But this guy is a puncher. He's been knocking guys out. You know what I'm saying? So that's what trying to discredit the man. Listen, the man is a monster, and that's it. And this was kind of upset me because, not upset me, but you know, I just like I'm a I like when guys speak the truth, and you know, guys say that David beats uh, Demetrius Andrade, and they say he's a monster, and all this stuff. He's a monster. He's this. He's that. Arthur's knocking out real champions, and guys are like, oh well, this that, trying to make every excuse. No, he's 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 really a monster. See, we in the state of boxing now where, where they like to push something that kind of don't fit. They like to push the narrative that they want, whether it's the truth or not. You know what I'm saying? And listen, Arthur is the real deal. I don't care how you fight, so how you, Bevolve is going to sleep too. You know what I'm saying? Just, I don't even think it's going to be a good fight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, I, on, I'm just being on. honest. Let, let, me, let, me, let me interject because, you know, because uh, I already see what some of the comments could be yeah, responding okay. to. Well, you're like, hey, David, essentially what you would say is fighting smaller fighters, yeah. right? Coming up and winning. Right? No, David's a good fighter. No, no, I I'm just keeping it real. No, I know. I, I, I know. Yeah. But what's the difference of Callum Smith coming from 168, uh -huh. going to 175, and fighting allegedly what you would say is that guy? Okay. Right? So, I'm, so I'm, is I'm, Callum I'm, like... Eh. I'm, I'm glad you asked that. But wait, this is what Callum Smith said. Oh, I outgrown super middleweight. I'm really a light heavyweight. Now, he said this. Now that I'm a, because people made excuses like, oh, he was struggling to make that weight. Now he's fighting at his real weight, 175. And then this is what the people said, showing his highlight, his knockouts and him stretching guys. And he said he feels so much better and, and uh, at a bigger weight. He think that's his natural weight. So this is what 
he said. This is what the public said. And then he moves up and finds out that Arthur is really that guy. He was really confident that he can knock Arthur out based on the guys he knocked out prior at light heavyweight. But do you do? Um, I guess I guess a fighter would have to say that, right? What fighter would go? Oh, I was at my best weight. I'm yeah. gonna go into my worst weight, and I feel terrible no, here. No, but here's I'm my thing. Arthur better. Be. And here's my thing. But but don't say nothing crazy. Like when they bring up Canelo, oh, the weight. Don't don't bring up the weight. Then just by like, listen, Canelo was the better fighter at super middleweight. So I'm gonna go up to light heavyweight. It's a bigger weight. You know what I'm saying? I think, uh, and people thought since he's bigger, his punches would be heavier. He'd be hydrated and all that. And he got beat up worse. He got beat up worse. And Canelo supposed to be a pound for pound best. Canelo couldn't even stop him. Well, he's a big guy. He's he's big, right? Canelo, you said Canelo's a no, big guy. No, no, I'm saying Callum's a big guy. And right, and, and, and look how small. And th that's how I knew. That's how I knew he wasn't gonna beat Arthur. He, <laughs> that's how I knew. If you saw how he fought Canelo, and when Canelo started putting that pressure on, hitting him, hitting him, and he put up, put a picture of his arm after the fight, saying Canelo broke his arm, uh, something in a bone, something right here. I'm, I'm not sure, but so I knew. I said when he when he get hit by Arthur and that pressure that Arthur bring, it's over. I don't care what the weight is, it's over. Canelo did say himself it would be a tougher fight to fight Arthur than David, than David Benavidez. Yeah. And that's just, and that's because Canelo got some sense. That's because <laughs> okay. Canelo got some sense. Like, I'd rather fight Benavidez than Arthur. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's just the fact. People can get emotional all they want. This is the facts. You know what I'm saying? So. Were you, were you even impressed though of Callum's performance? Mm -hmm. I mean, like, just in general, because obviously it wouldn't have mattered, right? Yeah. You said better be beats everybody. Yeah. So I could put, I don't know, you name it. The, 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 only, the only guy I've been impressed with is uh alexander volsnick he, he he gave the best arthur the best fight to me yeah you know what i'm saying he gave arthur the best fight that's the only fight i've actually been to a better be yeah he, he, he gave Philly. he gave arthur the best fight you know what i'm saying like uh if you look at Callum smith he just was walking him down like like and then see what guys mess up at arthur got one of them styles where and this is a mistake i made this is why i can talk so um confident about it because when i when I saw him on tape, I'm like, what's so special about him? Well, he, he's standing right there. He looked like, like he can be hit. And that's the mis you think he can be hit, but he's real good at controlling his distance. And where, where, where you miss him by this much, but he can blast you. And he's real good at putting pressure on you and cutting the ring off. He's real good at placing his punches to the body. And he, he just know the dynamics of fighting. He said, okay, if I can hit him, hit you on the arm, hit you on the shoulder. And when you feel that, it causes you to be like, whoa. Like, wait, what? Man, imagine if you hit me on the head or on the chin. You start thinking about your life. Like, what if you hit me the wrong way? And it caused you to say, you know, I'm just going to try to survive the round and get out the fight a lot. And for that's real facts. So you, you feel when he had the unification, the first unification fight he had. Yeah. Um, that that was his toughest fight. And, and just why? What was he doing in but, that fight that just let alone impressed you? No, because I saw Alexander Volsnick and I'm like, yo, this kid got good legs. He big. And he, he move and punch at the same time. That might give Arthur a little trouble. I'm like, and he can crack a little bit. He 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 put a Don Stevenson in the he put Don Stevenson on life support. Well, uh, all right, let me let me play devil's advocate. Yeah, go ahead. You know, at age it was 40, 40. At 80, You know, the age. Uh -huh. He was inactive, right? He wasn't busy at that time, too, right? I mean, uh, I'm not quite sure, but go ahead. And and granted, I mean, it was was it a competitive fight? I can't remember. It's been a while since I. I or was it just a lopsided? He was just boxing his brains. Yeah, uh, I, I think uh, I think uh, Don Stevenson hurt him one time. Okay, so you know, I guess you know. But so. still, that's a Don Stevenson who, who's a big puncher, who's a big puncher, was knocking out everybody. He's a, who, a real big puncher. You know what I'm saying? And um, for him to for him to think like this, who else put a Don Stevenson in the hospital? Well, I mean likelihood in boxing you usually don't really put guys in the hospital that's my whole point and but, alexander volstick was able to do it oh, okay but you do you all right what do you think is donna stevens's best opponent is his best opponent that he fought what? besides him i'm doing boxing math i, I, I think that was his best opponent outside, skill, of him, skill, I, skill I, outside of him um i guess i'm doing a resume audit What's i would have to i would have to do i would have to do um Chad Dawson, mind you, he knocked bad Chad out he did. cold. He did. Okay, touche. Okay, he, he did. It was like, what, two rounds or one? No, one, like Just 30 seconds. Boom. boom. Mm. Okay, Chad was a bad boy. Yeah, especially at that time. Slept him. Okay. So, all right, so in this case, yeah, Chad Dawson, you know, good. So it's fun doing resume audits. Right. So I guess you feel he has power, but Bivol doesn't have power. 
None. Because essentially he moves. And, he punches. And, 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 and here's my thing. When last time Bilvoff had a knockout? Uh, if I, wait, did he stop Sullivan Burr, right, on the 12th round? Um, he just had a stoppage on um, this, this, uh... The last card? Yeah. No, it went to distance. Did it? Went to distance. Wait. And that kid, London Arthur... Oh, no, it was the fight before that, right? Oh, who, was, who was that? Let me do a box, right? Yeah, yeah, let's do yeah, let's, <laughs> let's do, come on, let's come on. We're doing a box, right? Hold on. And then let's look at Arthur's resume. And let's, let's look at the guys he's knocking out that's never been knocked out before. Tom Smith's never been down. Even fighting the pound for pound, Alvarez, Canelo Alvarez, the baddest man on the planet, everybody say. Yeah, but Canelo's smaller. That's oh, what people would say, though, right? That's hey, what they would man. say. Hey, man. That's what they would say, but right? Then, but then when I say that, oh, what you, you taking you discrediting Canelo. No, I'm just stating facts. He's I'm just, small. I'm, I'm trying to work with them. I'm trying to work with them in, in, the, in the comments, right? So, all right. So, all right. He stopped. Oh, shit. Sullivan Barrera, really? It's been Sullivan Barrera. It's been his last knockout. Amen. Wow. Okay. So, yeah. So before that, Trent brought her. We don't even know who that is. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> anyway, I'm not any right. fighter who get in there. I'm not dissing any fighter. I'm just talking about the the, the caliber of opponents. All right. I'm trying to focus this real quick. I can't even. You just, you guys just gonna have to box record. This camera just not even focusing. Yeah. Just for proof, though. Sullivan Barrera was his last knockout, and it was in the 12th round. It was that HBO card. And how know. many years ago was that? 2018. But you know what? To Sullivan Barrera's credit, he don't get knocked out. Right? Sullivan Barrera, what was his? I mean, he's, he's got knocked out by Gilberto Ramirez after. But his only loss was to Andre Ward. He only lost to Andre Ward. Ward didn't stop him. Mm -hmm. But Ward's not a puncher. I mean, stop Kovala, right? Yeah, but, but uh, let's... Okay, I'll I, I give you that. I right? Give you that. I, I, I can't hate. I can't give you that. I can't, so, that. So, I can't, so case, I can't why, be bothered. I give you that. So so why can't... But, but you see, I'm not going to say he beat up a washed up Kovalev. I'm not going to say that like most people would say. Yo, he, he knocked Kovalev out. Wait, wait, wait. What's your... Was he a washed up Kovalev at that point? When Ward fought him? He won as his foe. I'm, listen, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to say nothing. Ward stopped him. Okay. I gotta give. I can't take that away from Ward. We we're doing Ward, no no Ward slander. Yeah, yeah. Ward Ward is a bad boy, and Ward got him out of there and had to talk to him. All right, better question then, because yeah. Hasim didn't want me to entertain it. You don't have to entertain it. I got a lot of love for Ward, so this is. I'll put me, my. I, I put my. Pure, I'll put my pure bias out there. Yeah, like, go ahead. I got. Go ahead. Like love, like love and support for yeah, Ward. Me too. How would would he do better than Bivol against better view, considering the fact that the. The, the tangibles and and if you don't want to speak on it no i'm gonna speak on it um uh, no no really no so. i mean this, this andre I'm, ward yeah i'm gonna tell you why you've been in a room with kovala yeah been you sparred in, better be yeah i'm gonna tell you why because if you look at like ward is more physical ward likes to get physical if you saw with kovala if he was coming forward he was trying to get on the inside and rip that body Ward's gonna take more chances and that's uh, Arthur Love. The, the the he he would rather you to stand there, like per, I got I can prove it. Look at Joe Smith. Joe Smith was coming right at him, and look, boom, boom, easy. It ain't it, two rounds over. I think it will happen the same way with War because War gonna try to fight. War War Hart is gangster. War Hart is that's one of my favorite fighters. War Hart is gangster. I admire his heart. But you don't you don't think like we see the car fresh. Granted, super middleweight. I know. Yeah. Smaller fighter, so in comparison, different weights. I know he, he fought. I'm a, that, it can't oh. because Arthur is a physically an animal. But he's the war. Be, sh, 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 yeah, I know. But as soon as war gets hit, all that. <laughs> and the thing is, Arthur's physically strong. Like he's like Ward. He get aggressive and, and move you around and all that. Like he would. That would. That's his fight. I think war. I think war. Get knocked out. I can think Ward get knocked out. I don't think go past five or you don't six. Think, but you don't think Ward could also box while kind of mixing up, switch hit, go. Yeah, he can do all that. He's still getting knocked out. I mean, that's just that's just my from looking at the fight, the style of fights. I think Ward, I think uh, Arthur knocks Ward out too. What about Ward and Bivol? Ward. Yeah. I better give it to Ward because Ward. Think about it is Ward knows when to step it up. He 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 know when to get aggressive. He knows sometimes. You got to take a few just just to get to where you to get the get your guy where you're trying to have him at. You're gonna have to get in, you're gonna have to step in that fire, and that's the thing with Arthur. You you, you in order to even cause if you look at uh, Callum 
Johnson who knocked him down. He was in the fire. He was trading with him. He was trading with him. Uh -huh, and they caught, boom. If he would have been boxing, that would have never happened. You know what I'm saying? So you 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 got to get in the heat in order to even cause Arthur a threat, even to um attempt to hurt him. But when guys get hit, they kind of stay away. Like, whoa, like, they kind of stay away. And he's good on the inside, too. He, he hit you one of them short shots. Good night. Was there anything that you didn't like that you saw from Saturday from Arthur? Simply fact, because I know that there was instructions from Buddy McGirt. Yeah. He was like, yo, stop with the left hook to the top, because he you know, to the body. And when Callum was listening to Buddy, he was laying a lot to the body, and he kind of like... I'm, look, I got to play devil's advocate. We can't no, do this whole, like, no, no, better no, be destroyed. No, no, God's no, 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 listen. He, he do it. <clears throat> it didn't do nothing. Like, the only thing I don't like from Arthur, sometimes, like, uh, when he when he get on the inside, he relaxes. He relaxes sometimes, like, and guys still can be punching. That's the only thing I can see somebody can capitalize on because he, he, get, he, get, he get close and then, and then like, like he kind of, like, stand and kind of be like, and if you punch, you, you, you luck, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think that's what you need to work on. He, uh, stay alert at all times. Even if you get on the inside, still be, don't be just so relaxed and thinking the guy, thinking the ref going to come. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's the only, that's only, only thing I can say. But that's it. Yeah? Nothing else? Yeah, no, I mean, he cuts the ring off. Immaculate. His jab, he was out jabbing Smith. You see that punishing jab he was throwing? That's a Lonnie B jab. Ooh. <laughs> that's a Lonnie B jab. Jab. Ah, ah, ah. And Arthur's not fast. He just got real good timing. He know where your head going to be. Mm -hmm. And look how he's putting the shots together. They didn't even look fast, but they was getting there. It was just like. So so, so when it comes to, like, these these champions, right? Yeah. In, in all honesty, like, do you do you get better be all the opponents that he's faced are all good, or you think some are a little bit just that's who was in position to fight? Well, well let's do a resume check. I mean, let, let's, 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 matter of fact, yeah, let's do a resume check. You know what I mean? Cause I got. I, I, let's do a resume check. All right, we box wrecking today. Yeah, yeah, we we definitely we, we yeah we definitely box wrecking today. Let's see. Let's look at, let's look at the guys that he's fighting, and let's see. He got twenty fights. Let's start from the top. Callum Smith, right? Let's click on him. Callum Smith only had one loss to Canelo. Never been down. Never been down. Arthur puts him down. Would you say that's good? Uh, well, let's see. Let's see. Who did he get the title from? All right. Oh, my God. Thank you. The last time I said in our last interview. <laughs> did I, did, wait, wait. I, I said that in our last interview, but, didn't but, I? No, but, but the question is now, are we taking away his resume or are we building to his resume? No, because you, you asked me. You said the guys he fight, are they good or were they just in that position? So I said, let's box wreck it. Okay, I see. So... All right. Oh yeah, he fought um George Groves, right? That was the World Boxing Super Series. Yep. Yeah. He knocks. He stops George Groves, right? Uh, he stopped. Yeah, him. he did. He stopped. He him. stopped him. Now let's look at Anthony Yard. Anthony Yard. Yard loses to Kovalev. I, I ain't gonna front. I think that was a little too early, so we we ain't gonna do that one. But he still knocked Anthony Yard out. Joe Smith Jr., who beat Bernard Hawkins, knocked Bernard Hawkins out. But, ne never been down. But you, can you say that was Bernard's last fight? How old was Bernard in that? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but ain't nobody telling him to keep boxing. You know what I'm saying? People had Bernard Hopkins beating Joe Smith. I ain't gonna lie. I did. I didn't even know who Joe Smith was at the time. <laughs> right. So no, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I, I generally was like, okay, so when Joe beat him, I think when Joe Smith like slept Alita Alvarez was like, oh yeah, he gets busy. He gets busy. <laughs> and Alita Alvarez is a bad boy. So Joe, Joe for sure. He knocks yeah. him out two rounds. Somebody who's never been down. Yes. He knocks him out in two rounds. Marcus Brown, who's big, good puncher. Beat Badu Jack for the, took the, the title from, from Badu Jack mm -hmm. in a one-sided fight. Arthur beats him down with a gash in the middle of his head. Yeah. Beats you, him down, stops him in the 10th round. But do you think, like, with Marcus Brown, like, in this situation with Badu having a cut, uh -huh. then, you know, he loses the pass count. But in his defense, he had a cut, right? Yeah. It was the headbutt. Yeah. So, like, we're, Marcus Brown, how would, you, how would you wash, like... I think Marcus Brown is an extremely good fighter. Mm -hmm. Extremely good boxer. Can punch with both hands, and um, Arthur just broke him down. Mind you, with a gash, the same gash Badu had. It just shows the mental toughness, the grit. The, it just shows it, it's a different animal mentally. Okay. Different animal mentally. Alexander. I don't know. Uh, Adam. 
this guy from Moscow, Adam Don. But but guess what? Let's uh, see. Yeah, he's on. He's back winning. He's back winning. Yeah. And never been knocked out. And his only loss is to Fei Long Meng, which I believe Fei Long fought Gene Pascal. Yeah. In Florida. And then, never been knocked out. Arthur knocks him out. Okay, so I mean, so in this case. The thing is, I'm, I'm going to keep it real. The thing is with Arthur, right? He's fighting tougher opponents. He fought, tougher... he fought Tavares Cloud early on in his career. And stopped him. That's a fair. Yeah. And stopped him. One, two, three, four, five. What was it? One, two, three, wait, four, five, wait, six. Wait, wait, hold up. He fought Tavares Cloud on his sixth fight, knocked him out in two rounds. And he fought Collegic. <laughs> uh, 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 this kid right here. Uh, um, This kid. Oh, this kid, Collegic. Mm -hmm. Click on it. He's 24 and 1. He's a big puncher. Where is it? How early did he fight him? Right here. Collegiate, right here. It's, 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 uh, it's right oh, before right I had uh, uh, that involvement. Long, rangy, can punch. Now, look at his record. He had 14. And look at his record. He, he, he had 14 knockouts in a row. Who stopped his knockout streak? Uh, Marcus Brown did. No. Wait, yeah. Look again. You said he had 14. He had 14 knockouts in a row. Who stopped his knockout streak? Oh, damn. Let me go. One, two, three. Oh, that ain't it. One, one, one two, three. Why don't you give me the damn answer, man? This 14 knockout streak? He don't got 14 in a row. He had, when he first of all, he had 14 knockouts in a row. This guy. Yes. Look. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me show you. Let me go back. TKO. 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 All TKOs. TKO. 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 TKO, right? There's like a DQ in there, but... Oh, I see. I see. Oh, Lonnie B. <laughs> he wins a split decision. It was a 14 in a row, though. Okay, well, it was close. Okay, it was, it it was, was close. I see, I see the trend, though. Oh, but he loses a split decision to Lonnie B, who's too small for a light heavyweight, who punched like a mule, who can crack. When Arthur stopped him, I said, no, nah, Arthur, for real. Because I'm like, that kid can punch. Arthur get caught. Man. And Arthur... Stops him. I'm like, nah, this kid is the truth. It's, he's really he's really like that. Okay. So, last thing on the on the better view. Has it... You've always picked on a beat Bivol. Has it changed after that performance? Quicker, faster, easier, or is it still the same how he beats Bivol? It's all. I think it's easier. I think it makes Callum so Smith is a tougher opponent than Bivol. Bivol wow! Bivol, I think, I think so. Really? It, because he can punch. Wow. He's, he's long. He's rangy. Why well, I say that? Because he's long. He's rangy. And fighting longer guys, fighting guys that's long and that can punch is hard to fight because they can hurt you coming in. It's, it's easier for them to hurt you than you to hurt them because you kind of got to kind of punch up while they punching down and stepping back. And they can step back and hit you hard from a longer range when you got to get, you got to take more chances. better than Bivol? So let's, let, me, let me do triangle theory then. Go ahead. Callum loses to Canelo, all right? Okay. Bivol beats Canelo. So, okay, okay, so, okay, 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 let's so, touch on that. Let's and I, I personally think Bivol's better okay, than Canelo. Okay, listen, let's touch on that. I don't, I don't, First of I don't all, agree with that. Canelo shouldn't even been been fighting Bivol off, period. But he did. So we, so if y'all want to give him that win for, for and you saw the size difference. And my thing is this, Bivol don't got the killer instinct. Canelo didn't have a busted lip, a swollen, everybody acting like he just dogged Canelo. You wouldn't even think Canelo fought a light heavyweight that night. Maybe he was like, I ain't just trying to get robbed. So let me just, you know. So if you ain't trying to get robbed, knock him out. <laughs> okay, I'm just. So I'm glad you said that. I'm just trying to. No, I'm, just, I'm just trying listen, to be in the listen, comments listen. with if, him. If you're the bigger man and you're not trying to get robbed, mm -hmm. listen. He don't belong in his weight class. I'm gonna send him back. I'm gonna make it clear he can't. I'm not going just out pointing like it's an am. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to knock this midget out. But that, okay, but that's not always the case. Sometimes, sometimes fighters. Yeah, have but, but yeah, that's Arrow, not always. Errol Spence, Mikey Garcia, right? I mean, yeah. Earl didn't knock Mikey. And, and, th and that's how I knew he wasn't going to beat Crawford. I'm like, he can't stop this. He's supposed to be this big puncher, this monster. He can't stop this little dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like and that showed me that Bivoff don't got it. He don't got that extra, mm. Like, you know what? I ain't playing to say, I'm going to try, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to knock this little dude out. He played it safe because he was worried about getting caught by a 60-pounder. <laughs> okay. Uh, and he supposed to be this. X this monster that Arthur's gonna have such a hard time with. Well, if they don't fight, set up Bibble versus Callum Smith because Eddie Hearn got both of them, right? Yeah, I would love to see it. I, I would love to see that. All right. 
And then we'll, we'll, we'll test that logic in there, right? Yeah. Because in this case, you would pick Callum Smith to be Bibble? Um... I mean, I mean. After after fighting Arthur. Oh no, nah, his career his career is done. No, <laughs> well, saying, I, 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 after fighting Arthur, if he if he if he, because you gotta realize most fighters, and I'm not trying to brag, but most fighters is not a Lonnie B, a Tiafimo Lopez, where 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 you can lose a fight and come back mentally stronger. I get, it, I get it. Most fighters ain't like that. So depending on how strong Callum Smith is, he can look at it two ways. He can say, "Look, I just fought the monster and gave it all I can." Now, granted, I can fight Bivolf. He don't punch nowhere near as hard. He's nowhere near as aggressive, nowhere near as strong. All I got to worry about is his feet. Once I cut the ring down, I'm clearly a bigger puncher than he is. I mean, I can, I can, I can land one and catch him and put him out and be right back and be champ. He can look at it like that. Or he can let all the, the um, stuff get in his head like, oh, I'm not good. I'm not this. I'm not that. And throw a, and throw a, a, a have pity for himself or for sorry for himself and uh, end up getting outboxed by Bivol, Bivol because we but we all know Bivol ain't going to stop him. You know what I'm saying? So he can look those the two that's the two ways he can look at it. Depending on how mentally tough how, how mentally strong he is.